And welcome back to Andy Rempel's Sports Break here on Hockey TV. I am, of course, your host, Andy Rempel. And joining us is a longtime friend of the show and former winger of the now defunct Randolph Raccoons. We got Greg Peters in the studio. How are you doing, Greg? Oh, I'm doing great, Andy. It's always a pleasure to be Excellent. here. Excellent show. Now you saw the first period of that game, Greg. What do you make of it? Terriers were really all over the ice there, and you know I like a good physical, rough game out there. But three guys leaving the ice bleeding in one period. It's a little excessive, don't you think? Yeah, the Terriers really need to take a look at what they've been <laughs> Who am I kidding? You used to run around punching people out all the time, didn't you, Greg? <laughs> I mean, the league was a little bit Oh, of a you were a bit of an enforcer out there. <laughs> uh, don't yeah. worry. I was a fan. I was a fan. Here's the thing, kids. If you're going to rough a guy up, you never choose the ref. That's what I always say. It's just unsportsmanlike. You never do that, kids. Now, we're going to play the clip here. We're not going to play the clip. It's not loaded up. What do you mean it's too violent? <laughs> we can handle a little uh, breaking bone here on the show, no? What is this, a volleyball show? <laughs> Going to get Michelle Sawatsky in here? <laughs> uh, it's fine. Oh, no, here it is. All right, so he lines the guy up. Oh, <laughs> rocks him. Always keep your head up, kids. That's what I always say, even if you are the ref. Now let's talk lineups there, Greg. Some interesting moves from behind the Pistons bench. Head coach Paul Dick really throwing some interesting lines at us. Three rookies on the second line. What do you make of it? No, I think this is actually a particularly smart move. It's on like the I always say, kids, experience is everything in this league. And how are you going to get experience unless you play good, hard lines against the other team's top line? Mm. you got to get out there. you got to block shots. Throw your body on the line for the team, even if you do get hammered by the Terriers. Now we're going to go down to ice level with Sarah Lund. Sarah? Thanks, Andy. I'm here with Piston centerman Troy Herschel. Uh, Troy, it was a pretty uh, rough period out there. You're uh, down to the Terriers. They have a solid 3-0 lead on you, and they threw some pretty monster hits in that first 20 minutes. Uh, you got crushed pretty hard up against the boards there. You must be feeling it right now. Yeah, you know, it's as you say, Sarah, it's been a pretty tough period out there for us. Uh, you know, the Terriers are up on us with a 3-0 lead, and they got a couple of monster hits on us there in the... Uh in the uh, first 20. You know, I got crunched up against the boards there and I'm, uh, uh, I'm feeling it pretty bad right now. Now, Troy, the Pistons have a number of young players on their bench uh, today and they seem to be taking the brunt of the Terriers' dirty hits. I don't really feel like you'll be able to match that level of intensity for the next full two periods. Yeah, well, you know, it's as you say, uh, we got a lot of young players on the bench. You know, they're really taking the brunt of uh, the Terriers' dirty plays, and uh, it doesn't look like we'll be able to take a full two periods of play at this intensity. And now, Troy, uh, you'll be going into the second period with 10 minutes of five on three uh, due to a couple of ejections from the Terriers' bench there where uh, they were <coughs> unnecessarily cross-checking the linesman and then dropping their gloves when he whistled the play dead. Uh, do you think that this is a blessing in disguise, this, uh, this play by the D-man Doug Wilson and wing J.P. Baxter? Is it actually a blessing in disguise that will give you the shot that you need to win this game? Uh, yeah, uh, for sure. Do you think you have what it takes to jumpstart your game tonight? You know, Sarah, I, I uh, think I've got what it takes to jumpstart my game tonight. Thanks, Troy, and uh, good luck out there. Thanks, Sarah, and uh, good luck out there. Back to you, Andy. Boy, that Troy Herschel. Real smart kid, isn't he? Real student of the game, Greg. <laughs> well, I don't know if I would classify him quite in that category. No, I don't know why I'm asking you. <laughs> you weren't exactly the scholarly type, were you? <laughs> Running around, giving guys concussions. Randolph Wrecker, they used to call this guy. <laughs> oh, it's a different <laughs> league, you know, played. Anyways, back down to ice level with Sarah Lund. Sarah? Cooper, tough one out there for you guys tonight. Uh, what's going wrong? Uh, you know, we just weren't clicking tonight. We weren't communicating. Uh, you know, and that's a problem. You know, we uh, play good in the D zone, play good in the neutral zone, play good in the offensive zone. Uh, yeah, we just got to get back to our game and, and keep moving forward here. All right, thanks. And uh, Will Hamley's been a real bright spot for you on the ice tonight with a 900 save percentage, uh, despite letting in three goals. How, what, how do you feel about his play so far this evening? Uh, you know, the forwards weren't firing all cylinders today. Uh, you know, we just we've been getting away from our game here, and and uh, we got to be better. You know, we just got to be better and play our game here going moving forward. What's the conversation in the locker room right now? What's the message you're hearing? Uh, you know, we're just trying to focus on the next game and and. Uh, 
yeah, focus on the next game. The next game? We've uh, only played one period. Oh, right. Uh, yeah, the next period, yes. Yeah, the next period. So, what's your plan for the second? Uh, you know, we just got to play our game here and get pucks on that and get pucks deep and uh, you know, get our feet moving and uh, yeah, just play, play our game. So, what exactly is your game? Yeah, uh, not really sure. Uh, probably should ask coach. Yeah. All right, thanks, Cooper. Back to you, Andy. Oh, boy, it really sounded like that kid was done with the game already. Yeah. I wouldn't blame him either. Uh, after a first period like that, I'd have a hard time going on the ice, that's for sure. Well, that's the first time we agreed all night there, Greg. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> hey, you know what I think might be the problem here? Oh, no. Uh, what do you th Not enough Mennonites on this team. What do we got here? Uh, Jack Rogers, Davis Fry, Quentin Pepper, Ty Paisley, Zach Power? Where are these guys from? This is Steinbeck. I don't think that's their problem, Andy. So those are some of their best players. Where are the Pletts, the Rhymers, the Penners? <sighs> At least we got a dick as a head coach. Now, speaking of, I think Sarah's got Paul Dick lined up on ice level. Sarah? So you're sure Paul said it was okay for you to take this interview? Oh yeah, not a problem. I do this all the time. Right, uh, I'm here with Jamie Roy, the uh, sales and marketing manager for the Steinbeck Pistons. Um, the fans are wondering what you're going to be doing differently now that uh, the season's been starting out a little tough. You know what, Sarah? It's time to make some goal cell changes here. So I've actually drawn up some new lines that I think are going to work a little better. So. Coop that you saw before, we've been wanting to trade this guy for a while. So he's out, he scratched the rest of the night. We're taking Hambly out of the net, we're putting him at a first line center with Power and Peps. Uh, then we're taking Dave Cote from D, putting him on forward. Then Goody is going from forward back to defense. You know, Jamie, I'm not sure about some of those lines. Uh -huh. Didn't it show that you were behind the bench there? Uh, are you sure Paul's okay with you doing this interview? Oh yeah, it's not a problem. Hey, I said no more interviews. Sorry, sir. Well, I think that's all the time we got, folks. I'd like to once again thank Greg Peters for joining us here on Andy Rempel's Sports Break. Oh, you know, it's always a Let's pleasure. Let's get back to the game.